A celebration of rap-rap-tastic radio from around this great nation of ours. Great! Thank you! So turn up this turbacular radio. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Yes! October. It's October time. You betcha. October, yeah. Well, who are we uh, featuring uh, today? Can't wait. Okay, I always like looking at the web page first. Yeah. All right, well, we got two guys. We're going to Wisconsin, huh? Uh, That's right, Wisconsin's rock station. Now, there may be other rock stations in Wisconsin, but this one is Wisconsin's rock station. Uh, so there's no other rock station in Wisconsin? No, there probably are some, but this one happens to be the one Wisconsin really possesses as its own. Oh, really? Possessive. According to who? The station. <laughs> oh, okay. The station themselves. All right. yeah. I thought maybe the people of Wisconsin voted. No, there was no vote. Oh, all right. Oh. So they appointed themselves Isn't that the Wisconsin's best? rock station. Yes. Isn't that the best thing about radio? It's always you the, can appoint the yourself the only station that really rocks. Yeah, you can, yeah. The you home can, of rock and roll. You can just roll. decide uh, we're the home of rock. We're the home. Mm -hmm. Right. There's no voting involved. Yeah. It's, this is W A P L. Oh, the apple. Len. It's the apple, no, everybody. Right. Uh, I see a Steven Tyler picture on the front of the web page, so I guess that's the type of music Steven they're Tyler playing. Steven Tyler doesn't even know they exist. Yeah. They, uh, they've they played Dude Looks Like a Lady and songs like that. Oh, that's yes. one of the songs they yeah, played. Right. They're a rock station. Wisconsin. Rock station. So well, rock how station. come the morning show, then, is featuring uh, a couple of guys that look like old <laughs> woodshop teachers? Oh, my God. Rick and Len, huh? Oh, God, what names. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> Rick and Len. Oh, boy. Are they lovers? W-A-P-L. No, they're not lovers. Well, you you think me and Anna are going to be facing each other if we ever do another promo shot oh, together? Oh, man, like Why that. Not? That's, That's a cool shot. Yeah, I think that people was People have glasses. I think cool? they chopped that together. They look cool, though. Yeah. Chess oh, together. Oh, man, real cool. That's good. How about some fucking, at least try some Rogaine? Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to have the goatee like that. What do they have more of, listeners or hair follicles? Yeah, I, 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 I don't think it's hair. No? Look, uh, also, the the guy on the left. That's horseshoey. It's okay yeah, if yeah, you look at your hair ball. a little bit, but horseshoey is something you never want. The one guy looks like the uh, the creepy teacher that Keanu Reeves was defending in uh, Devil's Advocate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, against, yeah. against that Good fucking... Uh, what was his name? The girl he's, from Welcome to the Dollhouse. He's on rubbing the stand. under the fucking... Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, so two two fairly older gentlemen at a, oh, a rock station. Oh, what? What happened? Uh, what little happened? Rick and Len show. A little Rick and Len post. And uh, under that post, somebody has written, Chip Rules. <laughs> oh, no. All right. And it always starts off a little soft. Yeah, it's a little slow. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get, a, let's get something in. Yeah, let's, let's hear yeah. a little. So, well, yeah, there's, the first post is, it, actually, it's almost poetic. It just simply says, morning, boys. Have fun. <laughs> oh, Where? Holy shit. oh, boy. And they're off. Uh, Cock and balls listeners. was the next one. Yeah. Today's Jocktober, Rick and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. Rick That's and right. Len. Wisconsin's talk, rock station. You think they talk about Packers a lot? Oh, my God. Their whole logo looks, it's that football type lettering, that font. Oh, really? Yeah. Taking advantage of the fact their team is undefeated? I would think. Who's uh, Rick is that, Wrangler? Is that a. Um, is that like a Special Olympics photo? <laughs> no. <laughs> no I, I think that's no. really just the guy. That's Rick from the show. Are you oh, serious? <laughs> they spelled <laughs> rump wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a Special Olympics photo? <laughs> well, just how the lady's, the lady's hands are on his shoulder in the photo and you don't see her head. It looks like she's like <laughs> she's kind of holding her loving. Holding like him lovingly. Rump, rump, and like he might be in a wheelchair or something. I don't know. Well, the smile's a little goofy, too. <laughs> goofy. All right, listen. Rick and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. A Rick and Len promo. What's the big deal about a, a Rick and Len promo? Well, I thought we would start with a promo. So you get a feel of, for what the show's about? That's precisely it. Are they two guys? Uh, they come across We're as two guys. guys. We're running out of John yeah. and Jeff time. Yeah, that's true. You don't worry about time. Big telling. finale or something like that? No, you got the big finale if you bring it in. Yeah, you got to bring in. Oh, no one hey. fucking texted me to <laughs> yeah. say put my car keys on it. Kenny could do that. Job. I need constant. Kenny! Uh, I need constant. Um, you know. Watch how this is done properly. But it's got to be done at the right time. Kenny. It can't be done now. Yes. When you wake up, Aunt, yes. you have to tell him to bring the disc in. Okay. You're a child. Bring of, the disc in. You know you're a child of the 80s if. 
Okay. Is a bit we did at AF that will fucking Jimmy will probably quit the show after. Yeah. This one. <laughs> yeah. It's, Is it not it's, a good bit? Oh, oh, oh. You know you're a child of the '80s if and you guys list probably list funny things. Oh, hilarious things! And then we let, get the listeners involved through taped phone calls. How much excitement do I have in my voice? Uh, I, I just do you you're pretty excited. I, 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 I would assume. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume I you're excited. I'm excited. It's just we're so both excited. excited at least? We're both right, so uh, excited. All right, good. How Doing long is the bit? Too long. We did Much all. Long. The, it's a, it's all a, day. It was I a running remember. theme through the entire show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> is that their studio? Or is that a remote? Maybe they're. I think they're on a remote. Yeah. I don't think their studio is quite that large. <laughs> big, big yeah. Dumpy arms. This whole. Uh, WAPL thing as I was listening just really reminded me of Rock 105 the dog where Scorch hosted. I'm sure Oh wow. It's just a uh, broom closet. It used to be an engineering room that they turned into a rock station. <laughs> Allison in New York City wants something. Allison, go. Um, I just thought you guys should take a look at their biographies on their website. Oh, I love a good bio. Ooh, we can get let's the look bios. at the bio. Alright, thank you. Thanks for that. Who would you guys like to start with? Well, wait, Rick or uh, Len? Allison, what what uh, what what do you notice uh, by reading the bio? Um, I'm on Rick's biography. Rick's. Uh -huh. um, if you guys Rick. about how old he is, oh. uh, his birthday is September 12th, in the year before the Earth cooled and the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Oh, is that what he wrote? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there God. it is. Oh. That's old. Oh boy! <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little self-deprecation. All right, yeah, let's hold see. On. I don't think yep, you can yeah. ever write a good bio. No, it hold on always comes across douchey. If you're gonna say that you're old through a funny reference, mm -hmm. right? Where does it say it now? Where does it say? Uh, uh, September birthday. 12th, in the year before the Earth. Cooled. The, now the Earth cooled and the di literally he's saying. I'm four billion. Yes, <laughs> and it's like, why wouldn't you just say 150? Why wouldn't yeah, you say like, no the, when you go with a ten bit. minutes after Lincoln was shot, or yes, or a Betty White joke, or a Cloris Leachman? Yeah, the dinosaurs, the Earth cooled billions. Of, like, who believes that you're in the billions? Right. The year, stupid. I would never. Believe I would love that. to talk to someone in the billions. But if it's the year before the Earth cooled and dinosaurs roamed the Earth, like, like, yeah, they didn't. The Earth cooled a lot longer. Than, than there were dinosaurs. Right. Yeah. And who was fucking his mother when the earth was all hot? <laughs> yes. And there were no humans before dinosaurs. No. That doesn't make any sense. Were, were our ancestors goop? Yep. Yeah. Goop. Like yeah. The, like the In certain goop. parts of the world, they still are. <laughs> oh, oh, goop. Meaningless protoplasm. <laughs> but, like, if you, if you, too bad we can't do this shit, but if mm. you trace your lineage. Your goop? Like, when does it go from humans to some weird to shit? Something else? The, the missing, missing link. link. And then missing, missing link, link and bring it, and then what? <laughs> yep. Is yeah. there? Can you like trace it all the way back to some kind of fucking uh, oh, fishy a, thing? A little puddle with with a, a lizard that has uh, gills and lungs. All right, and then you look thing. at that and go, well, that's uh, that's a huge. That was me. That's, yeah, yeah. That's my family. I don't think they can go back that far. No, I know we can't, but <laughs> obviously, no. obviously, that's what it's all about. Probably because there's eventually going to be a link, or or maybe one or two common bottlenecks. Where Hughes, Kumi, and Norton, you won't be able to trace them back to protoplasm because it hadn't split yet. Like, it, it's probably everyone, the bottleneck, like, everyone is in from the same thing. Yeah. The key is to find out where it splits. No, I got you. And then you know where the Hughes and the fucking Roberts and. Oh, this, this is pot talk shit. I like this. Oh, man. <laughs> but hey. the protoplasm is probably all of us. Protoplasm. All right. uh, why did I get into radio? Yeah. Only job I could find that required no skills, talent, or heavy lifting. <laughs> and he is actually right. He has no skill. No skill, no yeah. talent. That's right. I guess he doesn't lift things. Anything else uh, worth pointing out? Other jobs, you? I guess, teacher's assistant, writing commercials, and mowing the lawn in a cemetery. Look oh, at his hobbies. Gosh. Hobbies, uh, collect hard rock cafe pins. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, floaty <laughs> pens and dust. <laughs> Collects dust. Obsession. I may be beyond the point of uh, cringe uh, of caring enough. I'm sorry about uh, anything to be truly obsessed. So he's got no passion for anything. Strange phobias. Oh, this is good. Being Apparently success. Being licked. <laughs> yeah. By an insurance salesman. The, the, I believe it's tale, called yeah. Geico in lingual. Lingophobia. All right. Geico, Geico Get it? And then it says, don't ask. I won't. <laughs> you, know, you don't get it. Oh, God. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. If you wanted to do a Geico joke, you should have said something like, for fears, I'm afraid of a gecko. 
putting on like sharp shoes and climbing into my asshole. <sighs> Wouldn't have been funny either. <laughs> <laughs> you know how fucking oh. awful that was to walk that far <laughs> to get what I deserve. Get there's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Lou and Philly, wait till you get to the death row meal part of the bio. Yeah, Where's that? Huge. That. This oh. bio is endless. This is a, this whole thing is a death row meal. Yeah, why the fuck would we read that? It's enormous. That? We can't read all that. Crazy. Why would you read all that? It's why would you Tuesday? write all that? All right, let's start your October. Rick yeah. and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. Um, here's uh, one of their promos. No. Rick and Len. It occurred in the Hatchet Creek Wildlife Area in uh, Florida. Okay. One of the fish and game officers pulls the guy over. He, uh, he says, "What uh, what are you doing out here? I'm hunting. He says, well, uh, can I see your hunting license? Well, it turns out uh, he didn't actually he did, have. He didn't have a hunting license. Hunting license. Well, so uh, the, the the game warden uh, checks him, and what he did find no license, but he did find he had uh, cocaine, uh, marijuana, uh, vodka, a pair of women's thong panties, and a jar of Vaseline. Yeah. What the hell was this guy hunting? Well, from the sounds of it, he was trying to lay a trap for Charlie Sheen. <laughs> 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 The setup could have been a little Be longer. Be more funny. Yeah. I would have liked the setup to have been longer. Sex Bagel was just uh, fuming in there about all the oh. bad edits. And yeah, now, they I'll really know. were we bad all, fucking We all edits. know from Friday how riled up Eric gets yeah, when we he's oh, we today. Wanna... Oh, we we yeah. allowed him in the big boy seat, Jimmy, and he did not disappoint. We got word that he was very angry about uh, the Jocktober. You yeah. Fuming about the Jocktober show we were featuring on Friday, so we allowed him in here. And boy, he did not dis disappoint. He went off. He went off, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you want to go off again today, E Rock? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He didn't really go off. He didn't go off at all. No, he <laughs> just sat there. He was lackluster. <laughs> he was oh, lackluster. He was just kind of in here, kind of chiming in every now and then, but he had no emotion. <laughs> lackluster is a great word. Lack luster. Well, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a letdown. It was the setup was Z Rock was. was gonna really give it to him. Yeah, You're teasing he, it all day, saying we're gonna bring you in here. You're gonna yeah. kick ass and take names. Yo, yeah. It's like I'm so pissed. I hate this show. You wait. You wait till I go off. It's my That's turn right. to shine. And then he just came in and pointed out that the host eats donuts, and yeah. that was yeah. kind of it's it. like, whoa, watch out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was it a bust? Well, I mean, the it was, segment wasn't a bust. A, it was a that bust. was him. His performance. It was so bad, it was a bust of Oh, wow, that's bad. <laughs> Remember, there's a hyphen in there. Uh, Rick and Len, APL, Wisconsin. Ring, uh, Rick brings up a story about a greyhound tracking Wisconsin. Track in, there should be a space oh, Okay, there. Rick brings up a story about a greyhound track in Wisconsin, which just lights the chemistry between the two. You could tell by the dead air. <laughs> Hence all the bad edits, I guess, right, E-Rock? You heard the bad edits in the promo. Yes, very, very. Anyone bad. else hear that? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Do, you have oh, to have yeah, a, yeah. do you have to have a trained ear? Or, no, I heard or, that. Or the just pick up the, on that? It, it's like, and it's not even so much words. It's almost like a breath that's cut off that you could hear these little. You just know that something's being chopped yeah. out of it. Yes, they were, they were squishing it together. Yes, like that. Like that's yeah. how it sounded. <laughs> yeah. We're talking. Yeah, I know. Okay. My turn. Okay. Picture of a <laughs> make it shorter of a guy <laughs> fucking an inflatable sheep on their Facebook. Page. Why would Rick and Len have that on their face? I know that doesn't make that's any not... sense. What are their that's fans weird. like? There? What else are their fans saying? Uh, hope these douches wrap their lips around a shotgun with a toe trigger. Uh, this show is very lackluster. Lackluster. <laughs> oh wow! Somebody trying out a penis pump with a couple of his friends. Oh my! God. Also male. <laughs> Why would they have that uh, on their Facebook page? Oh, yeah, it's it's one terrible. of their fans. How's this going to bring in listeners? Is chiming in saying, nice voices, queer holes. <laughs> uh, take your station and make it cider or something. <laughs> it's W A P L, of yeah. course. Oh, apple. Oh, oh God. general warts on a vagina. No, that's the blue waffle. Come oh, on. Get know. it right. Uh, oh. Picture of black girl. Oh, black girl, of course. Who? Okay. And there's Chris, Chris Benoit, Benoit. Oh. And, and, and we got to see, where's baby Hitler? I'm well, sure baby Hitler. Well, the will caption start. is a uh, picture of Chris Benoit in his house, and the caption says, guess what I'm doing tonight? <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's terrible. What, what, it's horrible. What, what would that be referencing? Uh, I'm Sam? sure I'm he was going to, uh, I'm confused by that picture. Uh, kill his wife <laughs> and yes. eight-year-old child with his bare hands, I think. Yeah. Oh, and I then think. hang himself with his own weight. Hang himself in his weight machine, yes. Yeah. 
Magic Johnson wishes uh, these guys AIDS, apparently, to one of the Rick and oh, Len. That's nice. Well, what's that pig him. doing in that picture? Taking a shit? Yeah, it looks like the pig oh. is taking a shit over his massive testicles. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. you imagine the smell of pig oh. shit over oh. pig balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't mean it like that. I meant hot. <laughs> would you, so would you smell that area? Uh, <laughs> uh, the name, that'd be rough. The Facebook, uh, the person's name is Jim Norton. <laughs> oh, look at that. I believe there's a, a, a people... That are, they have lots of different names on Facebook, but they keep using the same picture. Yeah. Because there's this one picture of Patrick Bateman from American Psycho <laughs> it's where he's, looking at himself it in the where mirror. He's pointing at the mirror, yeah, like, yeah. But he's got, Look like, 50 me. different names with that same picture on this Facebook what, page. Why could you handle animal shit, for the most part? I'm saying handle it. But when you smell human shit, it, it just <laughs> fucking sets you off. Well, what do you think of this picture for human shit? Yeah, wow. I, I, I... But seriously... What's the answer to that? When you I, walk to yeah. a farm or something, you smell a whole bunch of different shit, yeah. pig, and all that. You, you know, it's a bit maybe. I, I'll tell you why. Probably because the food they're eating is hay and much more organic things. And we're eating fucking processed food. I'm guessing. When you smell human shit, though, oh my I know, god, rod yeah, it's city. definitely something about the just the way we digest shit. Is that what it is? Yeah, the processed shit we eat. Yeah, I'm like the worst. Hay is a weird thing when they the eat horses. Like, yeah, Sam. <laughs> Yeah. This is this picture. I can't remember this porn star's name. He's in everything. That's uh, something. Is, I want to say it's Evan uh, something. Evan Stone? Evan Stone. And above it, it says, I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, picture Why of, would they have this on their Facebook page? I don't know. Some fan left him a picture of Bobo and Howard Stern, which, you oh, know. They're, oh. they're good pals now. Yeah. Uh, David Lee Roth showing off his physique. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, that's such a coincidence. Oh, there it is. It's the, the girl scene that, was... that we just referenced on this show from Devil's Advocate. There's actually a, a screen grab from that right on their Facebook page. The welcome to the Dollhouse Girl yeah. on the stand. Uh, this show is the message, and there's a picture of a steaming pile of shit just with piss shit. under it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's uh, get the Greyhound story out of the way. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're going to learn about their chemistry <laughs> here, Sam. It's a picture of Scott and Todd. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is, this is a good example of the chemistry, because we looked at the chemistry between Scott and Todd. Yes. This is the Rick and Len on WAPL Len. in Wisconsin chemistry. Great chemistry. Yeah. Uh, remember, what was it? I don't know, 15, 18 years ago now that uh, we had the, uh, the Greyhound track. Yeah, Fox Valley uh, Greyhound Park there in Kakana. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a fun couple of months, wasn't it? <laughs> that was about it. Yeah. Well, the state used to have a bunch of them too, and mm -hmm. now there are what none or is none, there still one left on there? I, right don't, now? I don't know if there's any left. Is but that one in Kenosha still operating? I'm not sure. Hmm. Could be. I don't know. But uh, the fact is, I don't know why I bring this up since obviously nobody around here is really interested in greyhound racing. <laughs> But I, I did find this to be an interesting item I ran across today. Uh, a, uh, a dog, a greyhound, racing greyhound named Jack Spratt from uh, Wimbledon in England uh, lost every single race he was in. They said that the dog in, uh, in practice seemed to be really, really fast and yet lost every single race. <laughs> Standalone dog. I was just. Is he? Yeah, yeah. It's a greyhound's usually a <laughs> standalone. Uh, lost every dog. race. Race. Uh, lost every wow. race. Wow, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> well, that's oh, only got a prolapsed ass anus. Is a is that a real picture? That's how rosy red your asshole could get. I don't if know. It pops out. Would you suck on that? Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Like from the compound plugs. <laughs> bald, there's, a, fat fuck. there's a picture that says bald fat fucks. There's a picture of the guy from Aqua Teen F Hunger Force. Yeah. Picture of Homer from The Simpsons. And then Rick and then Len. <laughs> ah, yeah, they're right in there. They yeah. are. Oh, uh, big diaper. shitty diaper yeah. blowout. This is the second part of the Greyhound <laughs> story, Anthony. It's going to get better. I yeah, this is where you. the jokes come in. Yes, of course. That was the setup, right? That was the uh, setup. Hopefully. Did it have some kind of. Uh... I don't know, psychological issue, wouldn't chase the rabbit or something? Well, it wasn't psychological. Uh, it turns out he didn't see the rabbit. turns out after losing an entire season of races, they came to realize the dog was blind. They didn't know the dog was blind. <laughs> yeah. They didn't realize uh, the dog was blind. So it's a blind greyhound, yet they were entering it in pyramidual <laughs> races. Yes, wow. yes. So that, that, would, it, that, that would be the dog I would be betting on, you know? Did it... 
stay on the track? Uh, I, I guess so. You know, wow. you probably follow the scent of the other dogs or whatever. Something, yeah. Yeah, follow follow that uh, and, and, and scent of the dog butt ahead of you. And, and the key is for this dog, it was following, not leading. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, they say that the dog was really fast, and the real problem was is that um, he was uh, he was slowed down by his seeing eye human. Oh and, then they, oh, and then they just bam right out of it, right? Uh, we taught a lot of the, the folks out there. You have to end on a big one. Uh, we got to go to commercials with a big one, a big laugh. Oh. I actually experienced what you've experienced on this show, the butthead face. Yeah, yeah. We're just listening to this. Uh, well, the guy had no confidence because he uh, did the... What? Uh, well, the, uh, uh, well, listen well, to the end again. Yeah. And you gotta listen, listen to, to the end again. And you can tell right before he hits the sweeper yeah. that his partner will not laugh at that joke. No. No. He will give him he nothing. He had no confidence in it. Listen to the end of this. Dog was really fast, and the real problem was, is that, um, he was, uh, he was slowed down by his seeing eye human. This is Did you hit the button? You can hear him. Yeah. Oh, Guy, the boy. Weather. Too bad. There's a picture of me on there. hitting the fucking plunger. <laughs> Why what would is... their fans have a picture of me on there? I meant on an explosive <laughs> site. Oh, there, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a picture of a guy <laughs> with his hand in shit. A uh, picture of Jim Norton wearing a t-shirt that says, Bitches don't know about my monster rain. Uh, oh, that's a nice girl cum getting shot. Cummed yeah. on. Uh, just, Fezzy. Fezzy's, Fezzy's made another site from the homeless shopping spree. Uh, they had dogs can't stand alone. <laughs> they really need a picture of Erog with stained underwear. They really need a a music bed. Those uh, those guys. Yes, is that guy like blowing a himself? The luckiest yeah. man in the world. Oh, uh, uh, this guy's pretty blowing damn himself. impressive. Jesus. He's always sucking the head though. How long? Uh, <laughs> how long do you think? Uh, oh, oh, all right. Well, that one was. Long. How long do you think before they? Uh, how long do you think before they shut the site down? I don't know. There's some <laughs> oh really bad stuff on here. So you know, people have to look and go like, what the fuck happened? We never, this never happens on Facebook. <laughs> right. This should be fine for, <laughs> for racism now. Someone's going to lose their Facebook page today. Someone's going to lose their Facebook page today. That's horrible. <laughs> that, you can't do that. That's horrible. <laughs> Someone's losing their Facebook page. Oh, shit, that was a good one. I hope it was worth it, sir. <laughs> that's you got horrible. us laughing pretty hard, but you're going to lose that page there. <laughs> Let me see that again. Fuck, <laughs> 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 that is funny, man. Jimmy's officially on the floor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wowie. <laughs> <In> his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> They're all fucked up. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, listen, it's October with Rick and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. Oh, it's wow, it's time for the oh. news, honey. <laughs> and, <laughs> baby Hitler. Baby Hitler. Okay, good. Good. News, baby honey, Hitler. time. Yeah? Gene Anthony stops oh. by and does a story on Michael Jackson. Len adds a lot. Oh, Len adds a lot, which I usually, <laughs> judging by what Sam does, yeah. means uh. nothing. Well, well it doesn't can, add a lot. And you should take notice that... Because this is an edgy rock, I'm trying to reload the page so I don't look yeah. at a prolapsed dog anus. Yeah, and yes, because you're correct. This is an edgy page, uh, edgy, edgy station. Yeah, it's the news, honey, not just some you know, news, news honey. lady. What? Oh, what does she look like? Is there a picture of the news, honey, on the website? There is not, which is a <laughs> bad Ooh, sign. A very Please bad go sign. back to those pictures. <laughs> very bad sign. They don't have a picture of the news, honey, on their website. <laughs> not a good sign. <laughs> There's too many pictures. <laughs> Loads of <laughs> shit in the toilet. <laughs> and people just posting the same. <laughs> the teeth are my favorite. That is great. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> people are awful. It's the Rick and Len show on Facebook. You should know She's that by here now. again. That woman. Yeah. Well, hi there. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. Yeah. Here's honey, Jeannie Anthony with the headlines. What's up? Prosecutors in Los Angeles are trying to show that Michael Jackson's doctor delayed calling authorities and hid his alleged giving the pop star a dangerous uh, drug. The first bodyguard to reach Jackson's room will testify about that today. Conrad Marie is accused of involuntary manslaughter. It's kind of weird. One of the um, um, guards at Michael's oh. ranch said that uh, Marie asked him not to call 911. And then he says um, Murray was uh, in Jackson's bedroom trying to revive him. And asking if anyone knew CPR. The doctor, Dr. Murray, 
asking if anyone knew nice. CPR. That's a, a, that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah. I'll give you hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month to be my personal physician. What? You don't know CPR? <laughs> I want my money back. Yeah, I remember back when the uh, the Jackson story first broke. You made an excellent point about personal physicians. I, I'm sure I did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How long have these two been working together? Like a month? Well, no. There is no rapport I, and no, like, communication skills. They've both been in radio for a long time, and they did different roles before. So I think the one guy is just fed up with the other guy. He doesn't oh, want is to that give what him, it is? He doesn't want to give him shit. He's not giving him anything. No. Probably because manager, management put him together or something. Yeah. No, I, oh. I don't. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> but so <Dead> silence. <laughs> so that last story was about the personal physician, right? Yeah. So uh, Jeannie, the news honey, gets into her next story, but Rick doesn't want to let that go because he's thought of some good humor based oh, on... Oh, he finally got some humor out of the last oh, story. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, he's going to yeah. go back to the last story. Which, right, okay. Yeah. And here's your happy story. Oh, a, a happy story? And it doesn't have animals in it. <laughs> a Frank Lloyd Wright house has been put on the market in Milwaukee. The three-bedroom house is listed at just under $200,000. It was built around 1916. So if you want a Frank Lloyd Wright, what? you have an there, opportunity. There's another <laughs> unsold house on the market in Wisconsin. That's the happy story. I'm trying to give this a twist. Come you on. Know, here's, the, um, here's the thing about Frank Lloyd Wright houses. I mean, they're awfully cool looking. I love the, the design, you know, the mission mm -hmm. stuff and everything mm -hmm. that Frank Lloyd Wright does. But the problem with the Frank Lloyd Wright house is, I mean, yeah, he was a great architect and everything, but he couldn't make a roof that doesn't leak. Mm -hmm. Well, so that's going to help him sell the house now. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, so, yeah, uh, personal uh, personal physicians. I, you know what I'd like to have? I'd like to have a personal musician. <laughs> really? Yeah. If at any, you know, at some point you're walking down the street. Oh, you know what would be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Play me this one. You know? What? what? Do you understand? Instead of personal physician, personal musician. 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 You understand. <laughs> somebody that would play music for you. There's a fucking hilarious but, picture that somebody put up for all of so us. Funny. Somebody made a Photoshop for Jocktober that they left on uh, Rick and Len's <laughs> Facebook page uh, that's Photoshopped everybody on the show. Into gay positions with jock straps on, <laughs> wearing jock straps. <laughs> There's a big fat guy in a jock strap. Of course, E Rock's head has been put on that. Uh, yeah. Roland's up there in his Bruce t shirt and a thong. Uh, big fat black guy facing the other way. He says, uh, Where yeah. you going, Patrice? There's uh, a picture of actually Jim on all fours and me. Looks like getting ready to eat his eat ass. Jim's ass. ass. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Is that uh, Opie sniffing the jock? That's yeah. Opie oh, who's sniffing his own jock. And Ant, yeah. uh, well, his penis is far too big. It <laughs> says mine doesn't for the fit. Jock strap. And the cup from the jock is just dangling on the end of my dick. And of course, <laughs> there's Dopey Club Soda sort of Kenny with a jock strap on well, his head. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Well, That's funny, man. People are fucking. Not funny. as funny as the bit we just heard. Yeah. He wants a, a, personal, a personal musician. musician. So when you're walking down the street, you can go, hey, personal musician, I want to hear this right now. It's like a personal physician, but musician. It's a great concept, God. Sam. By the way, uh oh. This is Jeannie. Oh. That, that's the boy. news, honey? Yep. News, honey. Huh? What? Let me make it a little bigger for you. What? That's right. I, don't think, I think she's big enough. <laughs> What? Oh, wow. She looks like Joe Klecko. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that would work because Joe hasn't been around in a while. But. Yeah, but we all remember that. <laughs> Joe, Joe Klecko. Gene Anthony, the news honey, looks like Joe Klecko in a, in a red wig. Wow. No? Gene Anthony. Yes. I'm not sure if Wasn't he part of the New York Sack Exchange? Give me a side-by-side -side <laughs> with Joe Klecko. <laughs> Wow, the news, honey. Uh, brutal looking. Wow. That is a manly, manly woman. Wow. I wonder if anybody's going to be commenting uh, about, about Joe her. Klecko. Oh, well. Let's, oh, no. Let's take a look at Joe Klecko. <laughs> she does. Look at the fucking... Oh, you got to get a little younger. Bert. Ah, I hope they yeah. don't. I just hope they don't put, like, embarrassing photoshops. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking... What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, God. God. Ugh, ugh. It really does look similar. <laughs> Joe Klecko. Boy, they foggied up that picture of her, too, didn't they? You take that hair away, you would swear you're looking at a guy. Yeah, that's a guy face. No, she got guy face. She got guy face. She's the news honey. The news honey. If you're going to be in radio and call yourself the news honey and shit like that and portray yourself like that, right. uh, no pics.
No pictures. Let's see the... Uh, or pics behind the tree. We've talked about yeah, yeah, with sunglasses on. Sunglasses. Just peering out. One eye peering. <laughs> I think it was. One eye. <laughs> I think it's one sunglassed eye. There's Joe Klecko. It's already on their I Facebook. believe from one of the... Um, I thought there was some kind of delay on this. How could it be that quick on their Facebook page? Joe Klecko Listen, online. I think Joe Klecko was in wow. one of those movies, uh, like Hal Needham and yeah. Burt Reynolds movies or some yeah, shit. Yeah, he, he made some appearances. Joe Klecko, by the way, looks... Completely retarded. <laughs> yeah, she's not good. No, nah, no. Nah. That's uh, MySpace voodoo she's doing there. Yeah, 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 she's they'll, looking they'll up with look her up. eyes. Yeah. Got that camera up high. Yeah, that's not good, man. She's a pig. Rick and Len, more like Dick and Flem. Oh, Joe. Ugh. Why don't we uh, break? So <laughs> Shaving his why don't we break? Because we're going into the big uh, marquee bit that they yeah. do, Ant. Oh yeah, well, great! We, so we, we'll do part two of October with Rick and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. Oh, you thought they wouldn't come back from the personal musician bit? Oh no, that was a good bit. That's what I mean. Good like, concept. Great, right. but uh, I'm sure they did an hour of phones on that. <laughs> yeah, personal musician. Uh, marquee. Can I tease the marquee bit? No. Uh, yeah. uh. After the break, Ant, uh, as we look at Rick and Len for October. They're going to do their marquee bit, which is mm -hmm. rock band, racehorse, or porn film. I bet I know what this is all about. Serious action. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony Show. In the middle of October, uh, we're featuring Rick and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin. It's, oh, yeah, uh, they're good. What's their show called again, Sam? What? <laughs> it's just Rick and Len in the morning. No, no, I mean, um, I meant to say the radio station. WAPL, Wisconsin's rock station. And they gave themselves that title. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, I yes. love that. That takes balls. Oh, there's I mean, somebody that just shit their pants. Is that what that is? Yeah, they're trying to delete things off their Facebook page. But the fans are just coming in oh, too boy. strong They're and too, too, fast. Too, too fast. Too strong right now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If I ran a radio station, I would just call it the only radio station. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well, right? That's, it's like, well, wait, wait a minute. There are other stations. Nah, we're the only radio station. But see, radio can't think out, out of the box. Yeah. But I would actually do that and get everyone talking to town. Like, how dare they call themselves the only radio station we're the only radio station why does it have to be the only radio station that does something Rocks right just call it the only radio station none other all right so marquee oh. bit time i hate oh my god yeah that's but he funny. didn't actually have that sign right that's what i hear no, it, it had Bruce something Willis? else. It yeah. had yeah, something I hate else. sign. That was super. That was uh, put in in post. I wish I could say the word as easy as you. Why don't you? It's, you're reading I something off of. Uh, I don't know. I just can't. I'm not, I'm not saying. You know, I just can't. If it's, if it's not used in a you know derogatory. It's like, way. It's like any other. Here's the thing. If you're actually quoting oh. something, I'm not saying it's wrong. By the way, right? Jimmy. No, 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 I just, no. I just, can't, I, I like, I kind of skate around it a little bit Ooh. still. Yeah, I have no issue with it. it, it I wouldn't say it. Uh, to be a dick, or if there was a black guy here, I wouldn't try to squeeze it in. But if I'm quoting the name of a prior album, yeah. it's called Bicentennial Nigger. I'm not going to pretend it's not. Right. Um, yeah, not say Bicentennial I'm very comfortable. N word. Yeah, I'm comfortable saying it because I know my motives for saying it. Gotcha. But what, what's the story with the Bruce Willis I heard song? that was, uh, the sign said something else, and they put that in at the end. I don't know exactly what they put in. Uh, I mean, what, what it said when they, I think because Artie Fuqua, who's a buddy of mine, is a comic he hosts at the cellar all the time, was in that scene. Or he was there mm. for that scene. I believe really? Artie is the one that told me that. Yeah. Really? Yes. I love Artie. Yeah, he's a grease funny. Has he knocked dude. anyone out lately? No, but he's a giant penis. <laughs> That's legendary. Artie Fuqua. Well, those people tend to have big ones. Yeah, but Artie is a big dick, even for a black guy. Him yeah. and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has a big one. Fucking. Did you see it? No, but everyone who's seen it has told me it's fucking <laughs> massive. Keith Robinson pulled a train with him years ago, and God uh, damn it, you're dick to do yeah, right. yeah. God damn it. That's some dick. How According to Keith. <laughs> Keith said that. I don't know if he really pulled the train with him, but he said that. Who knows? Maybe Keith just saw his penis and he was embarrassed. I would assume Keith has a, has a big one. Oh, he does. And because uh, Florentine has pulled trains with Keith. <laughs> he said <laughs> Keith is so abusive when he fucks girls, and his dick always curves to the left. But Keith will actually just talk to waitresses and say, you're going to get the big boy. So then I start <laughs> chiming in, telling him how Keith, my friend is going to give you the big boy. I love talking about Keith's big boy. You back him up? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> big boy. 
Some yeah. people are posting on Rick and Len show Facebook page yeah. uh, about what a snazzy dresser Troy Kwan is. Troy oh, Kwan is yeah. a fancy dresser. Well, just ask him. I'm hoping he's appreciating. I, I went with a layer look today. I hope Troy uh, appreciates oh, it. Look at I that. went I'll with the t-shirt out. underneath my shirt yeah. and, a, and a jacket on top of it. Not Troy Kwan approved, I'd say. It's all about layering. I'm, I'm learning. Got to layer your clothes. I don't know. I don't think Troy would like that. Marquee bit time, man. It's rock band, racehorse, or porn film. Ah, I guess with they play something. With an unenthusiastic listener. Oh, God. <laughs> the listeners don't even want to fucking get up for the show. No. I threw the disc away. Can someone look around? You threw the disc away? It's on the floor. Hold oh, on. boy. The there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. I threw the disc away. <laughs> Sorry. For the segment we're doing. You have to take care of your things a little better than that. Well, I thought we were done. I really <laughs> did. How could we, we be done? We went to commercial. How could we be done? We went to commercials. I thought exactly. we were done. All right. Marquee Bit Time, Rick and Lange, October, oh. APL in Wisconsin. WAPL. <laughs> Rock band, racehorse, or porn film. Yeah. 1057 WAPL is the Rick and Len show. A couple minutes before 7 o'clock, 50 degrees. Who gets to play a rock band resource or porn film today? Well, I'll be darned. It's Paul Van Boxtel. Hello, Paul. Ah. Well, good morning. Paul, do you know how this Sorry. works? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, Fucking yes. sucks. Dumb show. And Dumb game. Anthony Bryan wants to know if, uh, what did Opie say on BAB? The only rock station. That really rocks. No, that's when me and Ant were doing AAF in Boston. We were the only station that really yeah, rocked. BAB was the home of rock and roll, you dunce. And I've worked at three homes of rock and roll yeah. in three different cities. Yeah, same. And I worked at uh, an animal station, the Fox. The Fox. Did everything have to be Fox-themed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Fox trot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be like... Shitty. I don't remember the Fox themes, but yeah, they were That would the absolutely be if they were going to do a marathon for charity. Yeah. Make sure you join the Fox trot. <laughs> we're going to be doing... Uh, I really don't remember the Fox horrible. themes anymore, but I do vaguely remember we had a lot of them. Uh, here we go. Back to the marquee bit from Rick and Len. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it may, it may help you know, you, you know, Paul, if you really don't want to play, you don't have to. <laughs> All right. Yes, I do. I'm All right. Here we go. Okay. Seven names and titles. Each of them is either a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film. You need to get four of seven correct to win tickets to the uh, Rock and Apple Clash at the Creek. If you go seven for seven, you win that $26 cash bonus. Here we go. Okay. Number one, Sticky Kitty. Sticky Kitty, rock band, racehorse, huh? or porn film? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, not porn kitty. Porn film. Kitty, not oh. kitty. Let's see, that's different. It's a <laughs> porno sticky movie. Sticky Kitty. I thought it was <laughs> Sticky Kitty. Oh, my God. I, I didn't even pick up on that one. Sure. <laughs> Jesus. They're trying to delete comments as they go. Well, How's that working nice. out for them? Not well. I mean, they're just... <laughs> not, we're just following their lead. We went to their Facebook page and saw a couple of little edgy things, so that's all. Yeah. Because as... We're just adding to their edge. Because they can't get down to the bottom of where the comments are, because every time they delete a group of comments, just as many pop up again. Yeah, on the Rick and Len show Facebook. At least page. they have more positive comments now. They do work on. Uh, let's see, Wisconsin's uh, rock, rock station. Um, oh God. Bottom line, you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good at radio. This is going great. Okay. Uh, happy birthday to Jim. Tss. Happy birthday to Jimmy or something. Tss. <laughs> Tss. <laughs> Picture oh, two God, men two sleeping on each gay other. Gay old men. Uh, yeah. Mike, check. Did you block us yet? And these are from like 17 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. So they wiped stuff. out like 10 minutes worth of comments, but they can't. They can't keep up. They so don't want to shut it down. No. They're Rick and Len eat fight. ass. Rick and Len <laughs> love a good pink sock. And this picture has been posted a dozen times. They Seven keep wigs. deleting it, and it keeps getting posted again. <laughs> uh, I want to play turkey foot with Rick and Len. Turkey foot. I love the dumb little things they pick uh, up on. <laughs> this page is disgusting. I am Uncle Pauld. <laughs> Supposed to a Paul. Well, we figured that out. So uh, we're not as dumb as we look. I don't think you're dumb. Thanks, sir. What's with the picks, guys? I would report them to Ted Sheckler at the FCC. <laughs> I love the updated Rick and Len. Really edgy stuff, guys. Uh, Rick and Len eat ass. Hacks. Uh, more Rick and Len love a good pink sock photos. Uh, I mean, the hits keep coming. Love a good pink sock. Uh, queers. 
writes one fan. Uh, it's going to be a long day. You need to go to Ted Sheckler's Anti Facebook Bomb Emporium or something. That's a, it's a two for right there of characters. Mm, a lot. Uh, homo. Uh, Any- this show is October approved. Staple. I keep fingering my ass to your awesomeness. <laughs> Great show today, guys. Any uh, more? Uh, any more uh, material from these two? Yeah, or we just have the for benchmark Sam to stop. It well, doesn't stop. Will stop. I'll stop whenever you tell me to. Um, all right. Can you stop now? You got it. <laughs> all right. We got because we got to find out what Sticky Kitty's all about. That's right. Uh, what do you guys think? Rock band, racehorse, or who gives a flying fuck? Yeah, who gives a shit? I know what I think. Oh. Uh, okay, we're not going to wait for you to use your computer here, Paul. Just make <laughs> oh. a guess. Oh, I'm off on pulled off on the side of the road, so uh, re- rock band. Ah, good job. Good deliberation <laughs> on your part, I guess. Wow, they really just no one seemed into that. Um, I've seen a lot of vile <laughs> photos. I think that one really is bothersome. <laughs> That's real bad. <laughs> that one is bothersome. That looks like two fucking old truck drivers. Just it's just a big fat old uh, guy. And another guy who's uh, j- just going to start, I guess, uh, giving him a blowjob. But he's got he's, a little one, too. He's got a, a well, the fat he's got a, is, is puffed up around his, his dick, so he's he's almost jerking him off with just a yeah. thumb and forefinger. I'm bothered by the, uh, the that guy's stance. <laughs> he's very confident. You know, like he's, leaning on, he's leaning on one arm, and he's got the other arm on his hip as his pants are down to his knees. His face looks no like shirt he should be on. saying, good evening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Albert... Little cock. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened there? Did we get the answer? Uh, yeah, it turned yeah. out it was a rock band. Rock band. Oh, that's terrific. Game yeah. continues, Ann, unfortunately. Number two, Meat Monsters. How about Meat Monsters? Oh, meat Monsters. That's great. Oh, no. <sighs> no, that's a porn film. Number three. Pan- Lady, Lady Gaga loves that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Panty Pops. Excuse me? Panty pops. That's uh, porno. That's, that's a rock that's band. A, I would, if that was a rock choice. band, I'd go see it. So rock band. <laughs> but it's a movie. It's porn film. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, I'm, oh. I'm batting a thousand over here. It's like right. making cumsicles. It's like it's like you enjoy this game. Yeah, it's so great. We, it's fun. It's are good, you gonna make good, a man call to them and uh, yeah. play along? I should. <laughs> the, <laughs> you would do very well. I know. I think I'd be a good caller. What's that, uh, oh. young Sam? The 105.7 WAPL Facebook page is now also. Under attack. Oh boy, that's not oh good. their Facebook page. Oh no, what are they too? saying? It's, that's not good. Uh, Bill, Bill Tetley, Tetley would like to have you as guests on the Bill Tetley Variety Hour. Nice. Uh, I love listening to Rick Finger Bang Lenny. Reminds <laughs> me of Rick Finger Banging Lenny. Uh, let's see. Hey guys, love you. Love the show. Uh, there's a picture of a horse taking a shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Wizard of Oz, except every character's face has been replaced with Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. It's just all Gary Busey. A uh, guy fully decked out in a rainbow outfit that <laughs> you says, are you are this gay. gay. <laughs> uh, of course, the Hail Kumia flag yes, is flying. Yes. Uh, uh, what the fuck is this shit? One person wants to know. More uh, Gary oh, Busey wow. and horses shitting. Mm-hmm. Love you guys. Love the show. Of course, Hulk Hogan <laughs> causing the oh, Hulk is, World uh, Trade Center. to My favorite picture. Down. Where are you going? I did this for yeah. you. Uh, Tis, tis. They should like ask him if it's a movie or a song or something. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, continue, Ant, because the game continues. Oh, Stop thank God! Stop bothering them on yes. Twitter because you got to give them something. Uh, number four, box maker, box maker. That's a horse, race horse. There you go. Uh, You've got two correct. You need two more to win. Paul. I'm fucking. Uh, let's see. I got them all. Uh, so far. Number five. Fun in a bun. Fun in a bun. Rock band. Racehorse or porn? Fun in a bun is racehorse. Rock band. Ah! No, it's a porn film. Goddamn, my well, first time. You, get the last two here to win. you can that. do it. Airgasmic. Airgasmic. Rock band. Racehorse or porn oh, film? Come on. It's still going. Rock band. Racehorse. Oh, that's More porn really? film. Yeah. Well, I'll try the last one. Just see I'll if you can get shit. at least three correct. Choke me again. Choke me again. A rock band. Racehorse or porn film? Rock band. <laughs> no, that's a racehorse. Well, only two correct. I'll tell you what, we'll uh, get you a consolation prize. How about we send you to McDonald's for lunch or dinner? That sounds good. McDonald's. Okay. I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. Thanks, Paul. Hang on. Oh. 
Somebody posted oh, the God. mulleted yeah. picture of Club Soda Kenny oh, on yeah, the WAPL page. Uh, and I'm getting word. Why would you just go that, through the motions like that? Then blow off the bit. Yeah. Wouldn't you just blow off the bit at that point? Yeah. Obviously, it's no useless. One, no listeners one aren't into it, and the fucking hosts certainly aren't into it. Brett Favre has a Jesus. tiny dick tip. Uh, Anthony sucks at this game. Ramon, <laughs> give me a radio show. I could suck a dick. Your mom's box. Don't try and fight it, shit dicks. <laughs> Not gonna read everyone. Bill Chipperson. Bill Chipperson sure is uh, putting a lot up there. Is he writing a lot of stuff? Yeah. Oh, Sam yeah. hates. <laughs> I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna blindly read. <laughs> Mighty horse rocks a fat ass. Tis, I'm eating cantaloupe, but I'm gay, so I can't oh. elope. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> can't you guys let us alone? You big New York bad guys. <laughs> I'm assuming that's one of ours. Lots of AIDS. Quack, quack. Tits in the ass. Contour. Is there a way now to... they just fucking start fighting I sh- contour. I shit my pants. It's too bad we're done, Sam. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure of that. What? Well, I think that's unfair oh. of you to declare to the Rick listeners. and Len talk about a billboard and tease a bit. What's this about? Oh. Hello, Bill. Well, there's a billboard. there's a billboard insulting cheese in Wisconsin. What? That's right. Um, How dare they? That's right. And Rick and Len wanted to talk about the billboard, and t- they, then they tease a bit that I don't want you to read what the next track is, because I'd rather you hear them tease it. Oh, cool. That's right. Let me go to uh, Dan and Appleton. There's a lot of Appleton calls coming. <laughs> Where's Appleton? Wisconsin, I guess. W A P L. Oh, they're in Appleton uh, County or something? Yeah. Dan, what do you got? Yeah, I live in the city of Appleton, actually a couple of blocks away from the radio station. These guys have been on the air in Wisconsin. They're legendary out here. They've oh. been on the air together for like 25 years. Um, the WAPL is probably the only radio station anybody listens to. I can't stand it. They've been playing the same eight songs for 30 years. But um, I just called them, and I was on the phone with Len. And he said at least the five people that subscribe to satellite radio are listening to you guys right now. Yeah. Oh, really? well, well, that's, proof yeah. By, that's, because that's proof by the Facebook page getting completely destroyed. The five yes. people yeah. listening to satellite radio yeah. just shut down the station's Facebook page. <laughs> Not the show's Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. The entire station's yeah. Facebook page has been it's, taken and, off it's Facebook. Done. And Congratulations. I, and I try to down I try to denial. I try to downplay this by obviously the way I dress and other things. But I will, I will give Len a call right now, and I, let's let's uh, look at each other's bank accounts in the last seven years. Uh-oh. Just the last seven years. Just the last seven. Me and you can make that call too. L- last seven okay. years, <laughs> where we've talked well, to five sc- subscribers for the last seven years. So obviously he's had to make a boatload of money on regular radio. Living there though, because it was probably a lot cheaper. Yeah, but we can't. Yeah. You can't take. They, they have to say something. I mean, they have to respond somehow. Yeah, you're right. No, just we, no. Ourselves. we are pieces of shit. No, I think they should just take it. <laughs> I think they should just take it. Joe Mike Baker leaves a comment on their Facebook. By the way, the show's Facebook page is still open. You have to comment on their post uh, that says, Paul's mom makes a killer key lime pie. Well, Sam, I don't like that. Why would you bring that up? You I know just who the to... champion is. Who did it say you know? hated? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Oh. You read it. And Sam. It started with an N, though. You can't deny that Paul's mom is the fucking champion. Of what? Of the Key Lime Pie competition. I guess. And and soon to be the champion of the uh, the peanut butter cookies. I don't know anything about that. Your mom's a no-show so far. My mom's it's not my a, problem. My mom's a show. Uh, let's, l- let's learn about this billboard, Ant. <laughs> yeah. Rick and Len. We've been hearing about this uh, billboard in... Uh... Uh, just, just near uh, Lambeau and De Pere. Man, the controversy started even before the billboard was up. Yeah. Because yeah. the uh, the group that put up the anti cheese uh, billboard, uh, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, yeah. actually sent out a press release about it and kind of got the juices flowing uh, well in advance when the billboard went up on Tuesday um, on Creamery Road, visible from Highway 41 there. It's a- Creamery Road? <laughs> Creamery Road. They fucking love their cheese. They I know, enough with the, the lactose out there, you fucking <laughs> horrible Wisconsin <laughs> farts. Enough already. Uh, Someone's got to explain the whole cheese thing in Wisconsin. How bad does it really get? You do they make they, it out there? You think they have oh. cheese on just everything? It is just a cheese. Well, we don't know. Thing. None of us have ever been there. No. But How bad is it? 
I think it's pretty bad. Do they have like cheese bars and cheese. shit? Like like uh, San Francisco has a lot of wine bars because you know you got wine country close by. You got to loosen up <laughs> with some wine. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle goes in fucking <laughs> big end first. <laughs> Facebook comments: Greetings from the five satellite subscribers, you fat bores. Look at the five subscribers shutting down your Facebook pages, cunts. Uh, yay, I'm number six. Hope you drown in a, of course, puddle of AIDS. Yes. <laughs> There's your fucking knapsack, huh? <laughs> we fucking hanging or what? <laughs> Wait, this is a knapsack joke? Yeah. That's a fucking Brewer Metallica. Because we just played this thing. Oh, we played it? Yeah. Okay. We fucking hanging or what? <laughs> we fucking hanging or what? <laughs> just... Oh, so nice. the subscribers are chiming in. All right, cheese billboard. Visible from Highway 41 or there. Something. It says, know. cheese will sack your health, fat, cholesterol, sodium, and then has their little logo on the bottom, and up on the left side, it's got the Grim Reaper. Originally, it was going to have had the uh, the foam cheese head hat on mm-hmm. until the folks who make those foamation started talking <laughs> about, hey, we're going to um we're going to have our attorneys contact you guys, and so they they kind of took the. Uh, the overt foam cheese head off. You can still sort of see it. Yeah, they kind of airbrush. It's it like out. a silhouette of the foam cheese yeah. head. You can't tell it's an actual foamation mm-hmm. brand cheese head. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people wow. taking numbers. The Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board hates it. Uh, Mayor Jim Schmidt of Green Bay hates it. Well, we're not going to stand for it. No, oh. we have our musical response to their billboard, and that's coming up next. I uh, I actually sing on it, but don't <laughs> let that keep you from tuning in. Well, but... Did they just set uh, well, <laughs> well, uh, they just set up a song parody? You know it. I don't oh, think I've man. ever heard a radio station set up a song parody. It was a tease for a song parody. Well, I should say a tease. Right. And, you could set up a song parody, but to actually tease it through a break, wow, it must be good. Why, when they said they were going to take it on, like they weren't going to stand for it, I thought maybe bra bombing was going to go down. Oh, well, no. it's a, always a possibility. But, uh, you never know with these wacky DJs. You never know. By the way, the word AIDS is just said uh, actually now hundreds of times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over and over in their Facebook comments. I think they're copy and pasting. I think so. One other says uh, five listeners. <laughs> like you're on a can in the string telephone. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got Good one. Uh, so got him. Uh, here we go. People want, I got to know about the cheese. Blake in Wisconsin. Blake? Hey, Opie. Hey, uh, there's a, uh, a capsule when you first drive into Wisconsin. It's like the size of a, like an acre large, full of cheese inside. It's shaped like a Renaissance Fair castle, and the state paid for the damn thing. And it's made out of cheese? No, the castle itself is made out of stone, but it's filled with cheese. Filled with cheese. Why is it filled with cheese? I, I guess people from <laughs> Illinois want to come up and buy cheese from us. The other day we were up at the, uh, the racetrack, and I saw one of those Sargento trucks driving by, and my dad pokes me and goes, you know, those always travel in twos. I have no idea what that means. I, I, Sargento trucks all the time. I, I enjoy a little cheese, absolutely. You know, it seems like you guys might have gone hog wild with your cheese How do you not, there? like, throwing a little Swiss on your ham sandwich? Sandwich. But, uh, yeah. I want to know more about the obnoxious uh, uh, cheese uh, culture yes, up there. Anthony. Oh, exactly. Let's go to Nick, Wisconsin. That's his last name. Uh, Wisconsin. Hey, it's Nick's Wisconsin. Nick, Wisconsin. What's up? How you doing today, guys? Good. Yeah, I'm a transplant from New Jersey, but when I moved there, my is that a plant with a breast and a penis? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I had I had a <laughs> put in the place of my penis. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm when I moved there, my wife was Jimmy. like, "You got to try cheese curds. Cheese curds." Everywhere. Oh, didn't Saddam Hussein cheese bomb them? <laughs> <laughs> Get a cheese curd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, wow. Out loud, man. I like that one. Uh, they're everywhere. They're like impulse items. They're little lumps of cheese that don't go through the full processing to be shaped square. It's and, like a cheese miscarriage. Everywhere, dude. <laughs> and, and as far as that cheese castle goes, that cheese castle, it costs millions of dollars and they built it because people travel from chicago from minnesota they travel from all over just to go to that cheese castle and buy cheese why you could get in a supermarket i'd go in there just to smell uh, the cheese can you, can you can you sample the cheese i don't like wisconsin cheese so cheese you know that's why we, get, we got a nice uh, market called fairway in our neighborhood and they have a great cheese section yes, why do. would you have to go to a castle i love fedway in wisconsin in Wisconsin, why would you drive you know that far just to go yeah. to a, a cheese castle? Exactly. 
How much cheese do you need? I don't know. Are you man. tired of your shit coming out nice and easy? You want to block it? <laughs> nice big block of cheese to cut your shit right in half? <laughs> they must They must pay the janitor a lot at the cheese fucking castle. Yeah, he's probably he's, bumping his broom into the cheese. He's always unclogging toilets. <laughs> oh, <the guy laughs> constantly yeah, fucking, like fucking I know. plunging giant cheese shit. <laughs> the, the fucking richest guy in the neighborhood is the guy that owns the plunger stand across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knew why he opened it, but when that castle got built... <laughs> There's fucking Pete's plungers standing out there with mittens in the winter. How many was was what are they called? Wisconsinites? Yeah. How, how many are? Is it really? No. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> how many people from Wisconsin uh, have pink socks since we've discussed oh, <laughs> how much cheese they just eat? Fucking inverting their anus. You think they're just fucking. Pink yep. sock and left and right because yeah. they're trying to push cheese out. I bet you people in Wisconsin, their <laughs> shits are so long and thick that they actually have to stand up and they walk away from the toilet and they have to drag their shit out of the water and onto the floor like a tail while a loved one cuts it with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had to cut one off? No. Oh, that's I haven't either. Terrible. Yeah. They actually, I bet you they always have to go to work with a half a log. Like they can never get rid of all of it because it's thick and, and laced with cheese. <laughs> So their idea of like a, a, a clean asshole is to only have a quarter inch of shit <laughs> sticking out of it as they prepare for work. That's not very clean. No, it's not. No. You want to hear the song parody they teased? Yeah. I yes. didn't forget. Oh, that's right. Rick is, and Len on WAPL in Wisconsin well, in October, they uh, teased a song parody before break. I judge all song parodies on length. Shoehorning? Length is the most important thing to any song. Oh parody. no, is it not? A I would quick. Well, how long do you think a radio song parody should be for the air? Tops it's a minute fifteen. Minute, yeah. Okay. Tops. Well, I want you. I actually put in bold on the track listing that I gave you the length of this track, and I want you to know that the entire time listed there is the track. And you're going to be begging for the Shepherd of Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is it that it's bad? Three minutes and 49 seconds. It's four minutes epic. song parody. Yes. It's an epic <laughs> about a cheese billboard. About a cheese billboard. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. How much can you say about it? I cheese? thought we wasted time on our show. Damn. Oh, no. Well. So with the help of Mark Goldie, Rock Garden Studios, here you go. Your musical response to the cheese billboard on 105.7. WAPL. It's the Rick and Len Show. Yeah, the rocket. Oh no! Signs, billboard. Oh, yeah. I get it. Yep. And the sign says oh. we're all gonna die from eating cheese. They put it up near Lambo Field. Won't you take it down now, please? A group called the Physicians Committee. Oh, was that shoehorning? Oh, that was a real Slight. shoehorn. Was that shoehorning? Slight. That, yeah, that was a real shoehorn. And it brought up the shoehorning for everybody. Oh yeah, that was Hate a shoehorn. That. Yeah, when it, it, yeah. you, you got to fit the words in like they're supposed to fit in. That's kind of makes a good song parody, you know? Well, oh, and his his vocals are terrible. He had get someone that could sing. He had an extra syllable or two that he needed to fit into yeah. part of the song. He's wavering on the key. You hear him like, oh, he's flat. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Response to the It can't be arteries. Arteries. <laughs> now I get it. Eh? The sign yeah. doesn't block up your arteries. No, no. it's arteries. Arteries. Yeah. Arteries. Arteries. Responsibility. Tea. Yeah. It's like you can't put the accent on the mm. wrong syllable. Right. Mm. <laughs> You're right. Yes, that's really bad. And what? What? what why is he now saying blocking up your arteries? That's what I guess the sign says. Cheese. Oh, blocks oh, up your oh the billboard is oh. anti-cheese. Uh, I thought he was getting anti-cheese. They want to keep the. They want to keep the people healthy. But that's all they have up there. Let them eat their cheese. Yeah. I think. I just want to point out, yeah. only one minute has gone by <laughs> so far. They, 
they did the entire song, is what they did. Yeah. That would have been good enough. That would have been like that's, sweeper time. That's <laughs> it. Rick and Wayne at Apple, only station in the world. It's amazing. <laughs> Fucking A. Check it out. Right. How many tweets I got over the weekend from people that said that just said that I got this song stuck in their head all weekend because I got I love when Jimmy does that, but you can't see behind you right now. Who these bitches? Who, who, who these that bitch? Look <laughs> <laughs> at that bitch. Making Jimmy do all sketch phrases today. I'm sorry. Who is I, that don't, bitch? I don't know who that bitch is. <laughs> there was a lot of them, though, Jimmy. I kill her. There was a lot of bitches. I kill that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, smack wow. my pussy with my fist. Okay. Yeah, what happened? We're getting to phase three on their Rick oh, and Len oh. show Facebook page. What did they do? Uh, their last post that they did mm -hmm. had well over 300 comments. Yeah. yeah. And so they've now deleted their last post. Oh, boy. Which is a feeble attempt because now everybody's just going to tell to the next Whatever post. the, the top post, post is. Yeah. They're, t they're fighting. Yep. I, I give this uh, Rick and Len a lot of. They uh, are fighting. A lot of props today. They're hanging in there. Andy. Nobody's made it to phase three without uh, canceling their face. Complete shutdown. Yeah. yeah, and that's what our, that's they're hanging in there. Is. The pest yeah. will work around this, though. I know they right. will. Oh, another one. Yes. Deleted. Another post deleted. Okay. And these are their own posts. These are their own posts. But they've deleting. had to sacrifice them to but get rid of all the comments. It's just making the pest hungrier. For instance. Ellen Bergeron. <laughs> 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 just wrote Ellen Bergeron signing off. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> Ellen. 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 I don't even remember what she sounded like. Uh, uh, you know, Brian Bergeron. and Philly says you didn't, they didn't even have to yeah. shoehorn that. I heard that too. Yeah, yeah. If you know the song, uh, they didn't have to shoehorn that. No. But I think they're so used to adding syllables that it just, just shoehorn felt right. See you the rest. And the sign says cheese has a whole You can do it there. Yeah. Oh, and then just, they just throw in a part of the chorus that just is in the real song. Well, I, I just want to stop to let you know that we're halfway through the song. Part. Oh, great. Half. <laughs> halfway through. And, this is that terrestrial uh, radio, too. Half. <laughs> we're halfway through. Jeff uh, himself, that's very good. He goes, damn, that's a good song parody. <laughs> 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 I've been eating cheese all my life. Look at me. I'm doing fine. Huh. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. You don't like that? that it sounded good. nothing like the, the I, song. You know what? I closed my eyes, and all I saw was you and your brother, man. Just yeah, that yeah, chemistry, yeah, that yeah. Musical chemistry. Man. Oh, I hear you. Advice coming right in on there. Facebook. Don't fight it, shit right dicks. There. <laughs> don't fight it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because they don't know. This, like... We we leave in a few minutes. This will continue. And then new people here in the afternoon. This yeah, will just continue get all for days. Up. They're all going to want me to talk about it on the after show, so they're going to go crazy with it. Oh, yeah. And I will talk about it. If you guys are doing your part, I'll do mine. And please talk about the current baking champion, please. I'll it's, bring it's, it up. It's your duty. It really is your duty. I, I, can I hear that one part again? I, I really? didn't get I didn't get douched out enough when he goes into the little talking part that they do. we're going all the way back to... Only the song halfway over, though. Oh, that's okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I've been eating cheese all my life. Look at me. I'm doing fine. Huh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Look at me. I'm doing fine. Look, yeah. we see your picture. You're not. <laughs> yeah.
Damn, cheese is blocking the hair follicles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 And they leave the whole lead in. Of course they do. They yeah. got it. What were you people? They finish. Now our signs say that everybody's welcome to the town where the green and gold play. But when you come in here and cut our cheese, we're gonna have something to say. Oh my god, cheese! We get it! <laughs> Not about the cheese! Stupid cheese sign! Oh, yeah, stupid cheese sign! Jingling and November three, four, and five, Stress Factory, New Brunswick, seven three two five four five. Ha ha. Cheese. Cheese. November eleven and twelve. Oh, he's gone. Brokerage Comedy Club, Belmore, Long Island. November eighteen and nineteen, Harrisburg at the Comedy Zone. November 25, 26, Poconuts in the Pocono Brewing Company. Jeez. And not uh, Jim. Well, I mean, the, their Facebook is still active. You know, I get. You rock, why don't you just hit the sweeper? You sure? Yeah. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Here